Hello, I'd like to show you a tip for relighting flat or dull looking photographs in Adobe Lightroom. It hardly takes any time to do, it's really very simple, and it doesn't even need the power of AI. I'm Rod Lawton, and this is a video for Amateur Photographer. Lightroom's AI masking tools attract plenty of attention for their ability to sync light specific areas or subjects in your photos without any effort on your part, and often with uncanny accuracy. But they are not a replacement for classic masking techniques, and their pixel perfect accuracy is not necessarily what your images need. So by all means use AI masking alongside regular masking tools where they make a difference, but if you rely on them completely, you can end up with rather stilted and artificial looking edits. I'll try to show you what I mean with the Lightroom Radio Mask tool. I use this all the time for relighting areas of photos to bring them to life. You might think it's a pretty crude tool, but used with a little care and subtlety, I think it produces results you just don't get with all or nothing AI masks. This is because it blends your adjustments progressively into the rest of the image. And if you place your mask and adjust it carefully, you can disguise the fact it's even been used. Here's an example. I've already done everything I can with this photo of a fishing boat using new regular exposure tools, but it's still looking a little flat and dull. I need to breathe new light and new life into this photo, and I'm going to use a radial mask to do it. First, you need to have some idea of where you want to add lightness. In this case, I think I need to lighten the area over the hull of the boat and across the shingle beach. For this, I drag out a horizontal elliptical radial mask roughly in the right area. In fact, I find that I use a similar horizontal mask shape for almost all my relighting experiments. Now that I have my radial mask, I can start adjusting the settings for that area. Almost always, I increase the exposure and use a combination of contrast and clarity settings to keep the tones and colours looking vibrant. Once you've applied these edits, the edges of the mask area and the feathering zone around the mask can sometimes be apparent in the image, but you can almost always fix this with some adjustments to the mask's position and size. You can move the mask around by dragging on its center handle, and this moves the relighting effect around the image. I often find the best position isn't necessarily the one I first thought of. You can also reshape the mask by dragging on its edge handles to make it wider or taller, changing the shape of the relighting effect on the image. You can even rotate these elliptical masks. And if the edges of the mask are still visible, you can adjust its feathering, or the smoothness of the transition from the edited to the unedited areas, by dragging the outer edge further outwards and the inner edge inwards. The outer edge of a radial mask is where the adjustment fades out completely, and the inner edge encloses the area where the adjustments are applied fully. Everything between these two inner and outer ellipses is the region where the effect is progressively feathered away. Let's try this on some other images. I was struck by this sunlit beach scene with the light sparkling on the water and the figures striding across the beach in the foreground. Now normally, I'd show the unedited image first and the edited version afterwards, but this time I'll do it the other way around. This is the edited version, and I think it captures the brilliance and sparkle of this beach scene exactly as I saw it. This though is the original version straight from the camera. Rather flat and boring, isn't it? I don't know how and why this happens, but I often find the way cameras record scenes is somehow flatter and colder than they looked with the naked eye. So if I just bring up both versions side by side in Lightroom, you can see the difference. I think the edited version looks full of light, where the original is just a bit flat. If I reveal the mask for the edited version, you can see it's not complicated. The adjustment is quite strong, but I've made it blend in almost invisibly by choosing very carefully where it's placed. Here's one more example. I love the brilliant white of these beach huts against the rich blue sky, but that's not how the camera recorded them. This vibrant lighting effect comes from a radial mask and some exposure adjustments. 
here's what the camera actually captured. Dull, isn't it? I can improve it a little with some regular exposure adjustments in the basic panel, but only up to a point. What really brings it to life is this radial mask and local exposure contrast and clarity adjustments. I think you can afford to be quite bold with these, and if you do start to lose highlight detail, try reducing the highlight slider. I've got many more examples of images where I've used this simple radial mask relighting technique, but I'm sure you've got the idea by now. What I like about it is that it's very powerful, but also, if you apply it carefully, it can be practically invisible. So that's just a little guide to how you can subtly relight flat or dull looking photographs in Adobe Lightroom. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and see you next time.